talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Take it high for me, please. He only leads followers. It will take beyond being a listener to receive the leadings of the shepherd. You see, when Jesus came in the New Testament, he said, I am the good shepherd. A shepherd leads sheep. And if you know anything about sheep, sheep does not have horns. They don't have any external system of defense. The only defense of the sheep is the leadership and the security that the shepherd provides. That means when the shepherd is not there, the sheep is exposed to wolves, exposed to lions and all kinds of wild animals listen to me it is a dangerous thing to sojourn this earth just using intellect using brain work your mind is important your brain is important but the bible history and experience have shown that any man who sojourns this complicated destiny not paying attention to the leadings of god will eventually end up in catastrophe. Many began their work arrogantly and even began to clap for themselves before the journey started. Today, many of them have had their heads bent in shame because they've had to learn by pain and by experience that when God does not lead you, you will go nowhere, even if you think you are moving forward. It is by you that I run through a troop. It is by you that I leap over a wall. God is speaking to someone. The sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you moonlight by night. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. first prayer point tonight is to declare Lord I am a follower I confess that I cannot lead myself I have attempted to lead myself in politics I have attempted to lead myself in marriage I have attempted to lead myself in business I have attempted to lead myself even in my spiritual sojourn I have attempted to lead myself in ministry is someone praying but I return to you oh captain and guardian of my soul Someone is praying. I make up my mind that beyond a listener, I am a follower. Follower of the leadings of the Spirit. Someone is praying. If I had followed you 20 years ago, I would not be where I am now. For there is a way that seemed right unto a man. The Bible says the end thereof are the ways of death. Some of you have followed friends and associations. Some of you have followed 
the, the, the philosophies of men. Some of you have followed your ego. Some of you have followed the path of ignorance. But the shepherd is calling you tonight. I am ever willing to lead you. Someone is praying. Pray from the depth of your heart. I make a commitment, oh God, that I will be a follower. I will follow your leadings. I am tired of rigmaroling around the corridors of destiny. It's time for me to make constructive advance spiritually, maritally, financially, ministerially, professionally in my career. Is someone praying? Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. Family man, pray. Professional, pray. The continuity and the excelling of your destiny depends, depends, depends on the leadings of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When this ministry started, and even when God started lifting us, I went to the Lord, and you would notice as a ministry, we have never done any conference or any convention. It's unconventional. I mean, a ministry this size, globally speaking, and yet God gave me a word and said, do not. My life is a product of the leadings of the spirit when this ministry started that was a time when most ministries would generate their revenue through audio teachings tapes media ministry generally and the lord gave me an instruction and said you will not sell any tape or any teaching but you will put it online and my angel will take it to the nations and with the foolishness of that instruction i obeyed and the rest to him be the glory please listen it listen to me I'm about to pray for you but I sense very strongly in my heart that there are people here that God is speaking to and saying listen you have been ignoring my voice for a long time you are already getting to a point where you are exhausting the boundary of God's mercy it is dangerous to be at the other side of God's voice because the voice of God is where his power follows. His power will always go the direction of his voice. Maybe there are people in ministry right now who need to go back and say, Lord, lead me. I'm tired of assumptions. You have done 10 businesses, none of them succeeded. Calm down. What you need is not more capital. What you need is to sit down. Man of God, you may need to sit down family man you may need to sit down what is wrong the bible says proverbs 18 1 through desire a man haven't separated himself seeket and intermeddled with all wisdom it is okay to not know what is wrong but at least calm down for someone god is speaking to you you are rushing too much you are jumping from pillar to post and in your mind you do not believe anything is wrong you just believe that maybe they are just like you need to sit down your life is not going forward. There are people who came into this Abuja 10, 20 years ago, respectfully speaking, but until now, there is no single door. At least if one door opens, we can say something is happening. No. You can't be in the middle of that, that kind of plethora of, of, of failure and then just explain it away. No. something must be wrong sometimes pain is a signal that your destiny is calling you but not that version of you you need to sit down listen there are family people who need to go and sit down and say why is this home not working son fighting with father they get up in the morning he's boxing husband fighting wife beating themselves no you need to sit down there is something about the leadings of the spirit we are ignoring. There are people today, you find them exhausted. Their entire finances is, is spent on flight fares. 
Europe today, America today, Abuja tomorrow, Italy next week. What are they looking for? Opportunities. The voice of God can save you that kind of pain. Are we together? Some of you right now are about to do business with armed robbers because you do not care about the voice of God. I don't care. Perhaps that's why God brought you to church tonight. To give you a word of caution that there is a, word, a way that seemeth right unto a man. Maybe there are men of God. Some of you have started fraternizing with wrong groups and wrong relationships. They are beginning to introduce you to extra biblical practices in a bid to get more money or to get more fame. You are beginning to practice things you know are ungodly. Perhaps God brought you here tonight to tell you, listen, you need to settle down. He brought us to church. We're about to pray. I want you to listen. This is more than a man of God preaching tonight. The good shepherd is calling you. There are whole families that God is calling. He called your great-grandfather. Your great-grandfather said, ignore me, I'm a, I'm a professional farmer. And he died like that. He called on your grandfather. Your grandfather said, no, I'm a ritualist, I'm a herbalist. I, I, I can do this. He called on your father. For some of you, they ignored. Now he's calling on you. Help them, please. Do not allow your children suffer because of your pride. This is a word that is coming from God to someone. Do not allow your children suffer because of your pride. If you have not got direction, stay with God and humble yourself. Use the keys that I've given to you. He's able to breathe upon the sincerity of your meekness and speak to you. You can call him in prayer and he can speak to you through his word. He can speak to you audibly and directly in your spirit. Hallelujah. He can take advantage of supernatural encounters and speak his will to you. And in the multitude of counsel, the Bible says there is safety. He can speak to you through the voice, the successes and the pain of many. And he can speak to you through the prophetic. Which one have you ignored? Which one of these did you laugh at? Which one of these did you sit at table castigating and tearing down? Don't mind all these prophets. They are all fake people and you are in trouble that only the prophetic can bring out. Maybe time to retrace your step, lovingly and respectfully speaking. Some of you have ignored counsel. Nobody talks to you. No, nobody talks to you. I'm a man all by myself. After all, I'm a millionaire. I have money. I have this. Doesn't matter. No. You are going to crash land. That's for sure. And some of you have never taken out time to pray for your destiny. You have turned men and women of God to slaves. Man of God, I just want to sow a little seed. I hope that you'll use it and pray for me this night. The covenant of priesthood demands that we pray for all the people under our care. But can I tell you, there are some of you, the, the reason why you are still stagnated is because you have not made up your mind to take your next level serious. The day you shut yourself bar for three days and you mean it with God, like you shut yourself and say, I am fasting only to break at night. Lord, I am tired of this situation. Please give me an answer. It was God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, who shared his story and said that things were not working for him. And they decided to set themselves to pray. And it was while he was praying, God gave him a few keys. And one time they were praying in Kaduna and the Lord asked him to come out and he saw a thick layer of darkness and he rebuked it and it rolled away, printed the publicity material and that was the end of it. My teaching tonight is for people who are tired of not producing results, tired of being stagnated. Are you ready to pray? For the next two minutes, I'm going to leave you with God. I'm not going to give you a prayer request. I want you to cry before the God of heaven. Forget that this is forget any other person who is here let it be just you and god you want to kneel down you want to stand for the next two minutes you and the god of your salvation please cry about specific matters of your life man of god pray pray forget the crowd in koinonia this is you and Jesus Christ.
Lord, give me direction for the next season of my life. I am tired of rigmaroling around the corridors of destiny. It is time to make constructive advance. Please pray. Spirit of the living God, lead me. I know I am called, but what is my call? Is it an evangelistic call? Is it a pastoral call? I'm tired of being an apostle today, an evangelist tomorrow, a prophet next tomorrow. What have you called me to do? Pray concerning the matters of your life and destiny. Lord, you are my shepherd. Lead me. You are my shepherd. Lead me. The Lord is my shepherd. I'm tired of failure. I'm tired of stagnation. Someone pray. Lord, you are my shepherd. Guide me. No assumptions. One more minute. Someone is crying. Mama, can you cry for your children? I didn't give birth to children for sorrow. Oh God, guide me. What is their destiny supposed to be like? Politician, pray. Lord, what is the, the blueprint for the next seasons of my life? Lord guide me enough is enough someone is praying leave me I access the voice of God I access the leadership of the good shepherd hallelujah we are still praying hallelujah please listen the next prayer point you are going to say lord every mistake i have made as a result of not subscribing to your leadership no matter how long it has been i cry turn it to my advantage is someone ready to pray that prayer lift your voice and pray marital mistakes maybe ministerial mistakes maybe financial mistakes maybe career mistakes maybe Someone pray. Every mistake, every setback, as a result of ignoring your voice, restore to me, O oh God, the joy of salvation. The mistake that cost me my job, the mistake that cost me my wife, the mistake that cost me my husband, the mistake that cost me my children the mistake that cost me my the mantle upon my life restore 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 oh god of heaven restore restore harika toshka lika pranda gavaraka toskariata restore in the name of jesus like the hair of samson restore restore honor restore grace restore dignity restore relationships Covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. You may cry, but make sure you pray. You may cry, but make sure you pray. Something is breaking in your spirit.
Shalagabelekatos. Last prayer point. Father, in the name of Jesus, I go forward. I go forward. Tired of stagnation. Someone prophesy. I go forward in ministry. I go forward maritally. I go forward financially. I go forward career-wise. Every embargo of stagnation. I crush it by the mercies of God. Every mistake of the past hindering you from rising, hindering you from driving. It's time to go forward. Shagabagata balakata praska debeketosha. Embrakata parakatoska debeleketa. Career mistakes. Lord, I ready to go forward. Ministerial mistakes, ready to go forward. Marital mistakes, ready to go forward. Financial mistakes, ready to go forward. Mistakes as far as your spiritual life is concerned, ready to go forward. Shabakata barakata pakatos koto prokete, embrakata barasa braska belakatos koprakete, kaparuski ata. One more minute and we're done. Please pray from your heart. Pray from your heart. Don't look around. One more minute. Pray. It's time to go forward by the message of the God of heaven. I'm going forward. Going forward. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press onto the mark of the high calling in Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout a believing amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I want you to carry that mentality all through this week. I am not without guidance. The Lord is my shepherd. I'm about to pray for you now as we wrap up the service. But I can tell you this, as simple as this service was, for someone, this will be the koinonia service you will not forget this year. Please hear me. Hear me. Let me tell you something I know about destiny. When your mistakes become too many, people draw a circle around your life and they avoid you. We are humans. People make mistakes here and there. But when your mistakes, your level, the margin of inaccuracy in your life, when it becomes ever widening, you are failing in everything. People will draw a line around you as though someone who is cursed and just leave you. Yes, you can make ministerial mistakes, marital mistakes, financial mistakes. But when it becomes from one mistake to another, from one pro, there are people who are never free from trouble. As soon as they are coming out, in fact, trouble comes to meet them in another trouble. This is why God sent me tonight. I need to pray for you because there are people who are in a pit right now. It is only prophecy that will bring you out because you are in, you have tried. When you find yourself in a well, the first thing you need to do is to stop digging. You can't keep digging and hoping you will come out. Father, in the name of that is above all names. I stand tonight by the privilege of the anointing that you have given. Anyone who is in any kind of pit right now, marital pit, financial pit, ministerial pit, in the name of Jesus, let the power that raised Christ from the dead bring you out of that pit right now you out of that pit right now bring you out of that pit right now come out of that pit right now hear me everything you had that you thought was God that has been leading you into trouble you have done more than 50 instructions that came from that supposed voice and not one of it has glorified God in your life 
every demon masquerading as the voice of God, confusing you, confusing you maritally, confusing you financially, confusing you spiritually. I silence that voice right now. 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 The spirits that have hijacked your dreams and visions to the point that you don't even want to dream again because you don't trust what you see. For some of you, you were accurate in your dreams. When God shows you things, they happen. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I prophesy to you, may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood. May your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood. Hear me. I want to pray a very special prayer. My apologies for the time, but please listen. God is delivering someone. Anybody here who knowingly or unknowingly have gone to dark powers to get any kind of solution or people went on your behalf, I want to release you now. Listen carefully. The Bible says, Woe to them that go to Egypt for help. Some of you, they carried your names and took it to shrines. You didn't know because they want you to marry, because they want you to have children, they want your ministry to thrive. Or some of you sincerely, you were misled by well-intentioned, but maybe ignorant people, or just wicked friends. Let's go to this herbalist. We will eat this, they will buff us with this, so that this will happen. You cannot go to the devil and soil your hand with him and then suddenly wash your hand and say it's not my business there are rules of engagement no because there are many destinies that have been tied down right now because there are voices and altars saying you can't go you can't go for certain people parents respectfully speaking and with every sense of honor to parents parents please be careful don't allow desperation. I want my child to go abroad by fire by force. I want my child to marry by fire by force. I want my child, my daughter to have children by fire by force. And sometimes by fire by force has led people. Someone will say, well, it's not exactly a herbalist. He just knows how to see things. Someone is about to be released in the name of Jesus. Any altar that is calling your name right about now, whether it's in the east, the west, the north, or south, anyone on Aparaka Toskiata, in the name of Jesus, I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Hear me. And if your name was taken there by wicked men to say, let me see what will happen, that all the ladies in this family will not rise, that all the men in this family will rise and fall. I stand by the God who sent me. Any evil doer that took your name to any altar, help them please. I declare the sword of judgment upon them now. Help them please. Help them please, a sword of judgment upon them now. Whoever has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise, in the name of Jesus, may the ground open and swallow them. And hear me please. If there is anyone here because of your carelessness you are carrying causes from men of God causes from parents causes from innocent people people who stood and spoke maybe your past I'm not I'm not condemning you maybe before you got born again you were a rude and a lawless person no honor to people you could say anything to anyone and someone 
a mother hit her chest and said what you have done to me to be done to you i want to release you right now because many people don't know why it is not well with them things just tie down their destinies some of you have sat down and gossiped about men of god formed a circle and turned down men of god and the god that sent them was in that meeting watching all of you and in the midst of it you go back now and find out you cannot rise again in the name of jesus I invoke the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access over your life be released from it now be released from it now be released from it now be released from the cause of dishonor be released from the scourging tongues of men final prayer if you come from a family here that they serve idols please hear me you come from a family where your grandfather your father worship idols you see I want to pray and release you because there are sacrifices most people do not know the mystery of blood you don't just slaughter a child or an innocent woman and then you drain the blood and perform sacrifices for 50 years and then just destroy the shrine and say it is over no there are rules of engagement let me release someone now because there are innocent people some of you you were not part of it but that bloodline is holding you and you may not know why you are not rising a man comes to you and says i want to marry you and those spirits manifest you want to rise to a dimension and something pulls you down in the name of jesus every altar that is speaking against you every blood that is speaking like the blood of abel i call upon the blood of jesus to silence that blood right now i invoke the blood of jesus to silence that blood right now This also has to do with territories. Sacrificed children, killed virgins, killed all kinds of people, killed missionaries. One more time I'm saying it. If there is any blood that is saying, come back when you are going forward. If there is any blood that is saying, come back like your father. I stand tonight, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, go forward, go forward. Go forward, go forward, I release you, 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 go forward. Thank you, Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting. to make an altar call right about now in such a powerful service like this there are people right now who are sitting and the Holy Spirit is speaking to you you shouted amen to every prayer except one and the Lord wants you to say amen to that one last prayer to make your relationship right with Jesus let's minimize movement so that we can honor the salvation prayer Whilst you were listening to me, young, old, rich, poor, male, female, on ground here and following online, the Holy Spirit began to speak to you that you must, you need to make it right with Jesus Christ. For others, you want to rededicate your life. You're saying, Apostle, I remember making this decision before, but right now, sincerely, 
I cannot say my ways are right with God, with Jesus Christ. You are in this auditorium. You are in all the over overflows outside. I'm going to count one to five very quickly for sake of time. I want you to leave your seat and to rush. Come and stand right in front here. And let me pray for you as I lead you to Jesus. Now, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Summon the courage and come. I begin my counting now. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. After such a prophetic service, you need to make it right with Jesus without confusion. Remember, the intent of this service is to clear all confusion from our life. Three, if you're coming, please rush. If you're coming from outside, make that quickly, please. Let, let all of the officials allow them to come in so that... Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Let's celebrate them. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus said, ye must be born again. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is where he gives us an opportunity to start afresh again. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. I salute your courage, all of you who have come out. And I don't care what has gone right or what has gone wrong. I just want you to know that Jesus is able to give you a new beginning. Thank you, sir, for the courage to come. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. May I request that you lift your right hand if you can. The Lord is giving you a new beginning. Please say after me loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. If you are joining them, please join them quickly. The prayer has begun. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Forgive my sins. I accept you into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i renounce all the hidden works of darkness and i declare that i'm a child of god from tonight until forever i am yours i am your child amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once they have made this commitment by faith and in truth and based on the integrity of your word i declare upon every one of them that their sins are forgiven and in the name of jesus the son of the living god i call you bona fide recipients of eternal life you are recipients of the life of god you go from glory to glory and even grace to grace in the name of jesus christ the power to live a victorious christian life i release upon you and I cut you away from anything that is anti-God. You go from glory to glory and then grace to grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please may I request, um, except for him, this man, let me have one counselor just talk with you. Maybe Pastor Jakes, you could just talk with him. May I please request for all of you to just move to my right, which is your left. All of you, you just have a word very quickly and you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Immortal, invisible God, only wise. Most glorious, most precious, the ancient of days. Please be upstanding, everybody. Thank you for your patience tonight. I assure you that this week will be a week of wonders for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May I please encourage everyone to go back and listen to this message again. The Lord is my shepherd and call to the attention of as many you know who need this teaching. Settle down, listen to it again and pray the prayers that came along with the teaching and trust God to give you permanent victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just one announcement for tonight very quickly and then we'll be on our way. This is to announce the workers appreciation dinner hallelujah koinonia workers appreciation dinner for abuja here comes up this saturday december 10th 5 p.m please kindly note the following number one attendance is strictly by invitation 
workers can get information from their respective heads of department. The attendees are kindly advised to comply with the dress code. Number three, your ticket only admits you and cannot be transferred to another person. All of that, please, heads of department, let's do well to feed our people with the information. Family and friends without tickets will not be allowed. It's written here. So please, I want you to take note. And then maybe let me just add one more. Sorry for the committee. I'm not part of the committee, but let me just add a word. As much as possible, nursing mothers and those with very little children who are workers, please, if you can, for the dinner, please, I would request that you keep them behind um, because we don't want children running around and then um, putting a burden because it's workers. So all the workers, it's, it's, I'm the one hosting it to say thank you. So please, let's minimize the labor as much as possible. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.